Hey guys, so um, for my let's play assignment on gender, I chose the game Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and so it's a pretty awesome game actually. Um, so let me walk you through uh, this game with our protagonist, Lara Croft. Um, this game uh, was created by. Uh, well, the creators were from you know very diverse backgrounds as they show in the initial uh, screen when you begin the game um, and different genders which is meant to add diversity to the game and I think this game shows it uh, through their characters such as Lara Croft and um, Jonah that's over there in the back and the rest of the guys so let's start with um, the base camp what Which is kind of the most, uh, here she is lamenting everything. She, uh, she yeah. really does a lot He's of a stupid mistakes. Hello. Anyways, here's the, uh, base camp, and this is the most, really most important parts okay. of the game, because this is where the, um, the, the game kind of saves between missions. And so here's where you get the chance to regroup. Um, you get to check out your skills and you get to improve on Lara's skills. You can also uh, upgrade your inventory. So here are the different weapons I have. Um, and you can upgrade them. You can also change your outfit. And uh, here's the equipments <laughs> that she uses all the time the rope and the rappel wire um, so yeah you can also travel to different fast travel to different um, base camps um, to go back and uh, get something from the past or whatnot so the the base camp is is important because it's the auto save uh, between missions and it's it's kind of a nice thing to to be as prepared as possible for the next uh, mission available um, Anyways, here we are. Here you're going to meet uh, Jonah. Uchu and I were talking. Uchu, what's, what's on your mind? mind? The day, the day of Ezra's coronation is approaching. So you, you will be a man, man and take, take the first steps toward the coming mighty deeds that you check in. That sounds, that sounds like, like a day, day to look forward to. to. It's the, the hope, hope for that, that day that keeps, keeps a lot of us fighting on my mind's cold. Sometimes, Sometimes we need to remember fighting people. Is, is there, there something, something I can help you with? When Esli's father sadly died, died, when Narada took the honor of serving father, father unto me. Fascinating, because sometimes I feel like Lara does forget what she's fighting for. I think sometimes uh, her pride is over, you know, her desire to actually help other people. Each blessing the ancestors of the tree king. Tell me what you need and I'll see what I can do. I already, I already have men to retrieve the amulet at all, but, but if we could find him completely the instrument maker and get, get the king's horn from, from him, we'd be doing, doing us a great favor. He's been, he's been difficult. difficult. I sent two men and both failed. failed. Perhaps, Perhaps you could talk to his wife. wife. I think I can manage that. Alright, so... Be mindful. Kapil can, can break Ricky sometimes, but Abra, Abra his wife, wife, has a way has of done done his edges. Right away, I guess you could see... Um, that this is not a damsel in distress game. In fact, it is quite the opposite. Um, Lara Croft is, uh, she's strong, relentless, powerful, determined. Um, she does not need a savior. She does not need anyone to rescue her. As a matter of fact, she's quite the opposite of that. Um, she's the one rescuing people and saving people. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so so her role is pretty interesting in this in this game. And I I was not um, I had never played any of the se of the sh um, sorry uh, Tomb Raider uh, series. I've barely played these types of games, um, but I have played Uncharted. And with Uncharted, like w what I realized is that th these two games are very similar. Um, really, you could you could take. Drake and put it in this game or you could take uh, Lara Croft and put it in an Uncharted game and the games would be exactly the same They're just that similar in character. So Lara Croft's role is is really um, Traditionally, I guess in most games played by male characters And so this is kind of the interesting part of this one uh, that makes it not a damsel in distress game is that she's the the uh, strong uh, 
character and her sidekick Jonah is kind of the the weak one um, he's uh, he's the one that uh, he's, he's been scared quite some time he's the one that needs help he's the one that needs to be saved um, he, he always needs a like he, he, he can't do it by himself and so that's kind of the interesting thing is that the the female in Lara Croft is um, the strong one while Jonah is the the weak one so you can see here um, on the gameplay um, you could check on the on the map to see where we're at see where the um, base camp is at see where the current objective is at um, it's pretty cool because there are some side missions that you could do um, that are not necessarily part of the game but if you want to do them and uh, rescue other other people um, you are willing you know you can do that uh, but yeah this game is very fascinating because it's really about um, some, some ancient uh, stuff artifacts that have been laying around and um, Lara and Jonah have been trying to retrieve it um, before Trinity so the enemies get it um, but yeah, uh, this game is pretty easy to play. It's pretty fun to play with uh, someone else uh, in your home watching it as well and telling you how to do the puzzles and whatnot. Um, as you can see, the map here kind of lays out uh, when you click on the button where you should go, which makes it uh, easy for people like me that have not really played much. Um, but. The, the game does offer incredible puzzles um, that really make you think and more than that just incredible scenery and uh, the view that they you can tell they did a fantastic job doing doing this uh, this world so the objective seems to be uh, on that side and here's where these people are again. Um, this is also where you could uh, fast travel places. Right now, you could take a look on the past different um, places I've been to. See, Jonah doesn't really do much. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's not really of much help. Lara's quite the female character. I mean, she has some incredible athleticism and abilities um, that you could see while playing this game. Um, she can jump, she can climb, um, she can swim fast. She, in she really has incredible endurance because she does not get tired. Um, it's kind of unreal uh, unrealistic uh, the way she can... Uh, yeah, sure. Anyways, it's kind of unreal her um her strength and power, and uh, that's kind of something that I don't like about games. It's just how un unreal they can get. I mean, look at this. Boom, she's up there, and. <laughs> Here's the map, the current objective, yeah. That's kind of like, not really my style of games, but for people that love um, puzzle games and to think a lot and, you know, to do these type of things, um, this is really a game to, that should be played. Look at that. Amazing. In past games, I um I've read that people, you know, there was some controversy because people kind of um didn't like the way Lara was uh dressed. I'm going to pause it here so you could see what I'm talking about. Um they they, you know, she was kind of underdressed and she was kind of a figure that was made for the image and I guess to please the male audience. And I think they've done a pretty good job with this one because I don't see any sort of attraction uh, towards uh, Lara. Like she 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 dresses well. There, it's not you know, this is kind of the less the, the least amount of clothes she's been wearing, and it's because she's trying to like blend in with the um, 
with the Pytetians. So, as you can see, the gameplay is pretty uh, incredible. Um, it's not really... You get to shoot a lot of people, but I guess the the bigger point of this game is really to solve. Um, if you click the R3 button, you're going to get to see not only where your location is supposed to be, which is over there, but also if there are some things, gadgets nearby that maybe you're not seeing that might be uh, helpful. Wow. That is amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. See over here how I got that um, wood. So we've covered the um, the importance of the base camps, and I think I'm pretty prepared for this. I think I'm not gonna get it out of ammo either. Oof. That was close. There you go. See, that's something that um, in Uncharted, uh, Drake could do. So it, it's really great to see um, a game where it's actually a female that is powerful. So there's another checkpoint right there with the base camp. I don't think there's anything I could upgrade skill-wise. I don't really have skill points available. And I think my inventory is also... Um, my weapons are also... Oh, I could upgrade that weapon. But I don't really use that yet. Um, here, take a look. Yes. So there's many things about this game that are awesome. Um, but one interesting thing about this game is that even though Lara is like the superhero, the game is not scared to portray her as the guilty, like the one uh, at fault, you know. At the beginning of the game, uh, we were in Mexico, basically. Uh, by we, I mean, you know, the, the, the first scene is really in Mexico. And Lara and Jonah are going after Trinity, and they discover one of uh, a dagger. And Lara decides to take it, and that pretty much uh, began an apocalypse <laughs> and a flood. And so quickly we learned that we need to find uh, the second piece, that is the... Um, uh, well, the e e-shell is the dagger, and the second piece is the silver box of Shack Shell, and we need to get that and in order to prevent the apocalypse and whoever can get both of them is ordered to, uh, to um, change the world in their image so Trinity obviously wants to get it for their benefit and Lara now we, we're trying to get it in order to stop them from ruining the world I guess but the flood uh, really destroyed the city and many many people died and kids died and it was really her fault so this is um Oh, I chose the wrong weapon. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That was pretty dumb. <laughs> I'm not really uh good at these games, but um <laughs> Yeah. We we do get to kill a lot of people later on in the game. Lara goes on an action, uh, on a rampage and kills so many people as well. Um, so she's not exactly a superhero all the time. Sometimes she really does awful things, um, and one as the player is the one responsible for these awful things. But it's a pretty fun game, um, and their puzzles are fantastic. Oh, this is new. So in here you could see these yellow are good to attack. Uh, I want to kill them both. I don't really know if I should just go ahead and do it. There you go. Whatever. Oh. 
Yeah, whatever. What I find kind of, uh, as I said, I don't really like games that are not really realistic. And one of the things I don't like about it is how easy they die. But as you saw there, I got shot and I didn't die. And she's totally okay. And obviously I'm not really much of a fan of seeing her jump around. Like, you know, I, I like games to be as close to, to what humans are capable of doing as possible. But look at this incredible temple, just, wow. They really do a fantastic like a job with this. Let me pick up a couple of these stuff. Um, wow. Overall, though, I definitely recommend this game. Oh, there are people there. Let me see what else I can find over here. Here, let me pick this up before I go on a rampage. Uh, huh. Definitely recommend this game to people. Um, it's it's refreshing and nice to have a game where we have a. A woman be uh, the, the the superhero uh, with the powers, not the same monotonous uh, as having men. So see, she she crept up here and like yeah, no one saw her. That's kind of mm hmm. These people are doing some sacrifices. Here you can put some mud on <laughs> to get invisible. It's a really well done game. I mean, no wonder it's been so well received. See, similar to Uncharted, uh, Drake could also do that, just kill people silently. And that's kind of the fun thing. I've never really seen a, a game where where the female character was the lead, and so this is this is definitely nice. Not to, that this is a damsel in distress game. This is, as I said, quite the opposite of it, with uh, just a fantastic story. Where's this guy? Uh oh. Yeah, I, well, that, that that wasn't pretty, <laughs> but um, not as I said, I'm not really good at this game <laughs> anyway. But it's 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 really fun. Um, I played most of this game um, with a, f a friend of mine, and we kind of took turns using the controller. But it was it was pretty fun, even when you're not playing, because you're able to help out like oh go this way do this thing you know or some of the puzzles sometimes can get a bit hard and tricky and so it's it's, it's pretty fun to have someone else around uh, that can figure it out with you and and it's actually a pretty long game as well like they, they it's a lot of content so it's, it's not one that you're gonna finish out pretty quickly you're gonna it's gonna take some time let me see uh, something here on the ground to pick up Something there to pick up as well. So yeah, as I said, it's it's pretty refreshing. <laughs> Lara is is incredibly talented and athletic, and they really seem to fix the issue that many people thought she was uh, sexualized too often, and doesn't really seem to be that way in here. And um, it's pretty. It, it, it has incredible, um, as I said, puzzles and sceneries, as you can see. This is amazing stuff. 
just fantastic what they've done and the shooting is quite um, easy but I guess you could also make uh, the, the levels a bit harder um, but overall yeah it's it's very great to have a female uh, lead character with such power and abilities as Lara Croft has anyways I hope you enjoyed my uh, let's play assignment on gender um, and I hope many more games in the future have uh, characters that are female that are able to be strong so that we could stop the, the uh, narrative that you know women are weak and that women need men uh, as saviors because Lara needs no one <laughs> to save her and as a matter of fact um, uh, Jonah is the one here depicted <laughs> as the one that needs to be saved and with needs uh, help so I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you next time